You know, air conditioning companies are slammed right now with calls because of the unusually hot weather, but they're also busy upgrading older, outdated AC systems that run on Freon called R22. If you have one of those systems, you might be facing some decisions that are tougher than these summer-like temperatures. Prepping your air conditioner for the summer marathon of heat is crucial. That tells me the unit is right where it needs to be. But if your AC is on the fritz, you may be facing a bigger issue than just a service call. Air conditioners predating 2010, which still cool many of our homes here in the desert, run on ozone depleting R22 Freon, now banned by the EPA. We can still get it for what we have in stock, but that is diminishing. But realistically, by this time next year, we probably won't even sell it anymore. It'll be gone. No longer in production, R22 is harder to find and getting more expensive. Lou Weber with Silver State Refrigeration says that presents a big dilemma for homeowners whose AC units are still in good shape. So if they're not leaking, you know, it's to each his own on that. Sure, they're going to be more efficient if you replace them, but, you know, you got homes like, like 2007, 2008. They're only 12 years old with R22 refrigerant. So you try to keep them going as long as you can. Or as long as you can find R22, it's now illegal to produce or import the refrigerant because it releases harmful chlorine gas into the atmosphere that protects us from cancer-causing UV rays. It's being replaced with a more eco-friendly and energy-efficient coolant called 410A. I think for R, it's average. We're in the 250 a month range. Sometimes three. Homeowner Will Simmons enjoys the energy savings on his nearly 4,000 square foot home he bought in 2013. It's built with the newer EPA approved units. He says a regular service plan also keeps the cool air flowing. It's better, in my opinion, to do preventative than wait for the system to break down when it's 110 degrees out. Converting your AC is a sizable investment, so waiting too long to make a cool-headed decision could leave you out in the heat and desperate to pay for a quick fix. I've yet to meet a person that woke up and said, hey, today I'm going to buy an air conditioner. You know, it just doesn't happen. <laughs> My boss is still looking for him, but... Uh... <laughs> Well, as Lou said, it's a pretty sizable investment, so you've got to plan for it for sure. And if your R22 system is not all that old and you still have a, quite a few years left in it, you can keep it. You're just going to have to find AC companies that still carry that Freon. Now, tomorrow we're going to talk more about converting your uh, R22 system into newer technology and what it costs and how involved it is. John, it isn't cheap to buy a new air conditioning system, but there are options out there. You just got to do your research, your homework, and plan ahead a little bit. Thinking.